Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase here at Rocky Mountain. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is our top five enduro hydration packs. All these packs are built for the rider that wants to take more than just the bare essentials. You want a water bladder, you want to carry some tools, some additional riding gear, your food, things like that in your pack. These are all going to be really good options for you. As we go through today, if you feel like these are just a little bit too big for what you're after, we also do have a low profile hydration pack video, which are going to be smaller options. So no matter what your needs are, we're going to have a video that's going to have good options for you. Today I'm going to go through, I'm going to talk about these individually. I'm going to be pretty brief. So remember that I do have spotlights on all of these. So when you get done here, if there's one or two that you're interested in, watch those because in the spotlight videos, I go into full detail. I show you every single pocket, all the good details about all these packs. So be sure to give those a watch. If you have one of these, I'd love to hear which one you have, what you like and dislike about it. If you have a pack that's not up here that you think should be, well comment down below and let us know what that is. So without further ado, let's kick it off and get this started. All right, everyone, so to start out, the first two packs that we're gonna show you, we have the Usui Moto 8 and the MSR Enduro. These are gonna be the two smaller options for the packs that we're gonna show you today. And we're gonna start with the Moto 8. So look, Usui, these guys have been around a very long time, make very good high quality packs. And to me, the Moto 8 is gonna be a really good option for the rider that wants a pack that has enough storage, so eight liters of storage, you've got three zipper pockets on the outside, you've got a three liter bladder that will come included. So this is gonna allow you to take some additional gear with you, maybe some tools on your ride, some extra food, things like that. But it's still small enough and low profile enough that if you wanted to wear this, say, in a race scenario, or maybe a pack that if you don't have it loaded up, it's just not gonna feel like you've got a pack that's way too big for a ride, I think this is gonna be a really good option. And one thing that USUI is known for is their no dancing monkey harness. So they actually use elastic on the straps, so right there and then down here at the bottom. The reason for that is just to allow you to really cinch this pack down, get it nice and snug, but it still has some give to it, so it's not going to be constricting. So again, looking for a good, I would say, kind of best of both worlds. You can take some gear with you, but still wear it in a race scenario. The Moto Weight would be a really good option. Price on this, you're going to be right around that $150 range. <clears throat> Next up, MSR Enduro. Now look, I'm a little biased because we designed this pack here at Rocky Mountain. We took all the features that we wanted in a pack this size, and we put it in here. Really happy with how it turned out. It is going to give you a little bit more storage than the Moto 8, but nice heavy duty ripstop fabric. You've got YKK zippers on here. And one thing about the MSR Enduro that you're not going to beat is the value. You get this pack for around $65. You're not going to find a better priced pack than the MSR Enduro. But three zipper pockets on the outside. One pocket that I really like is this big pouch here in the front. Perfect location for something like a packable jacket. And then on the other side, Talking about more storage space, you've got these two large chest pockets, large enough for your cell phone, a satellite two-way messenger, some snacks, your keys, whatever you want quick, easy access to, these pockets are perfect for that. You've got a two-liter water bladder that will come included. Forgot to mention that both this pack and the U-Suite do have a valve that you can turn off and on, so you're not going to have it leaking on you. But like I said, for riders that want maybe just a little bit more storage than that, what that Moto 8 can give you and a pack at a phenomenal price, check out the MSR Enduro. All right, next up we have the Climb Knack Pack. So the Knack Pack has actually been a very popular pack for a lot of years now and what's cool about this is that it's, you could say, dual purpose. Obviously dirt bikers love the Knack Pack, but there's some features that are built into this that are snow specific. So if you're a snowmobiler or snow biker in the winter and you're a dirt biker by the summer, this could be a really good pack to give you the best of both worlds. And I'll show you what these snow specific features are right now. But as you can see, it's just a little bit larger than the MSR Enduro, so even more storage capacity. One cool feature about this is that it does come with a tool pack included. So if you'd like to take tools with you on your ride, this will give you the ability to do so. But You've got a molded goggle case up here on the top. Now, like most dirt bikers probably aren't going to take an extra set of goggles. Some of you might, but you can still have a lot of different uses for this molded pocket for items that you want to have a little bit more protection in case of an impact, things like that. It's a perfect pocket for that. Now, keep in mind, there is no hydration bladder with the knack pack. You'll have to pick one up separately, but here on the sides, so you see this little red clip right here. They've actually designed it to where this can carry a shovel and a probe. So your shovel handle is designed to go right here on the side. And the reason for that is that obviously if you're trying to get to a shovel, hopefully it's not an emergency, but if needed, you just undo that. You can pull that shovel out from the bottom so quick and easy to get out. And then you would take the shovel head and put it right here in this pouch that you have right in the front. And then also on the side here, you have another little small pocket to hold a probe. Those are your snow specific items. You also do have a nice big 
little microfiber cloth on the inside of that molded pocket. Here on the front, nice two big chest pockets like you saw with the MSR Enduro, and you also have a whistle built in for some added safety as well. So again, for riders looking for a pack built for both dirt bikes as well as snow, NAC pack, really good choice. Price on this, you're about 130 bucks. All right, the next one we got to show you, this thing is a beast. This is the Liat 4.5 Hydra Moto Pack. And I'm honestly surprised that more companies haven't come out with something similar to this because this thing's been very popular. And what's cool about it is that you have their 4.5 CE Level 2 chest protector incorporated into their backpack that gives you 25 liters of storage capacity. Ton of storage space in this, does have a water bladder that will come included. Another cool little feature about them that nobody else is doing is that their whole hydration system is built to be a hands-free hydration kit and that's why you have the quick disconnect right here. So this portion will be connected to your helmet then you can disconnect it from the backpack. So pretty unique feature that you have there. What's also nice is that not only do you have the chest protection in the front, you also have this large back protector that is also CE level two. So if you don't want to have to wear your riding pack over top of a chest protector that you already wear or maybe a protection jacket and you just want to have everything built into one simple piece that you're going to be wearing, that's what makes it so popular. And for Liat neck brace wears, you obviously are going to have this compatible with neck brace fitment. But like I said, Lots of pockets on here. Go watch the product spotlight. I break it more down into full detail. You even have a little rain cover that comes built into this. All right, last but certainly not least, it's the newest pack up here in the lineup. This is the Alpine Stars Tectura Tactical. What's unique about this pack is the modularity. Just looking at it, you can see you have a ton of storage capacity. Now, no bladder will come included. Got to pick that up separate. But here's what's cool about this. You've got this main pack here. It comes with a tool pack, just like the climb pack did. That attaches using the molly webbing here in the front. You've got the main compartment where there is a sleeve to take a water bladder. But you've got these two large side pockets with molly webbing. And then you have these two large chest pockets here in the front. And what's cool is that if you find yourself in a scenario where you're just not going to need that much storage capacity, these chest pockets and these side pockets zip off and disconnect in a matter of seconds to where you would just be running this central piece or you could have it to where you just remove the chest pouches and you have the side panels or vice versa. It just gives you the option to run exactly what's going to be best for you and the ride that you are going on. So pretty versatile pack, built really well, YKK zippers, a lot of cool features built in. So again, if you are shopping for a pack that's got a lot of storage, but also going to give you a ton of modularity, then the Alpine Stars Tectura Tactical is going to be a really good choice. All right, everyone. So that does it for our top five Enduro packs. So hopefully, again, this video has kind of helped you decide what one or two or maybe three might be good options for you. But again, go watch the spotlights where I show you every single pocket, every single detail that these packs have. If you like this guide and you want to stay up to date on videos just like this, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel. That way you never miss out. To shop these, click the link or just head to RockyMountainHVMC.com. You know the deal. We ship for free over 75 bucks. And as always, I am Chase and we'll see you on the trails.